Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. How the Royals deal with Harry, Meghan and their children will be a key theme of the post-Elizabeth era, one of the family dramas that have made the house of Windsor an enduring subject of global fascination. So before we get right into that story, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't, if you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are very welcome. Give the video a like and please watch it right up to the very end. Just before boarding a flight to Aberdeen on Friday, the morning after the death of his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, Prince Harry put his arm around the shoulder of an airport worker who had expressed her sympathy while accompanying him across the tarmac. It was a moment of warmth and informality, characteristic of Harry, whose approachable persona long made him one of the most popular royals until his decision to step back from royal duties caused a breach in the family that is far from resolved. Harry was the last to arrive at Balmoral Castle on Thursday as the Queen's closest relative rushed to be with her in the final hours and the first to depart on Friday, reflecting the fact that he is no longer part of the family's inner circle. In happier times, Harry and his grandmother enjoyed a close playful rapper, glimpses by the wider public in 2016 when they appeared together in a comic video reacting to a mic drop town from Barack and Michelle Obama in our head of the Invictus Games, a competition for disabled veterans which Harry has promoted. But it was pure coincidence that Harry was in Britain when Elizabeth died and proud to her demise, there were no plans announced for him to see his family during his visit from the United States where he lives with his American wife Meghan Markle. With the matriarch gone, Family dynamics are bound to evolve and as the pomp and ceremony of Elizabeth's funeral unfold, observers will be watching closely out for signs of detent. How the royals deal with Harry, Meghan and their children will be a key theme of the post-Elizabeth era, one of the family dramas that have made the House of Windsor an enduring subject of global fascination. The new king, Charles III, signaled a desire for a Tao in relations during his first speech at Sovereign on Friday. He said, I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas, he said. Under royal rules, the monarch's grandchildren automatically become princes and princesses of the realm. So now that Harry's father Charles, his king, his children, Archie III and Lilibet I received those lofty titles. Lilibet was named after the queen's childhood nickname but that novelty alone is unlikely to restore harmony in Harry's relationship with Charles or his elder brother Prince William, now the heir to the throne. The brothers sat close for many years after the death of their mother Diana in a car crash in 1997 when William was 15 and Harry was 12, but their bond has been strained since Harry and Meghan began distancing themselves in January 20. Initially, the couple said they planned to balance the time between Britain and the United States and carve out a progressive new role within the monarchy. But their plan did not wash with Elizabeth, Charles or William, who ruled that there was no space in the firm, as you know, the royal family sometimes called for part-timers. Instead, the couple moved full-time to California and after a 12-month review period, relinquished their royal patronages and permanently left the exclusive club to those addressed as your royal highness.